All right, here we go. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. content creator for Marlene Reviews. And today we have Advertising Junction and I am Gio. Yes. And together, Gio and I are the Information Girls. And Yay. this is Yes, guys. So today, Gio and I are doing 20 15 ways grandparents spoil their grandkids. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ain't that a shame? Well, I'm a grandparent, so we got to do something. Okay, we can afford to spoil <laughs> them because we just send them right back home. Okay. You say, okay, bye bye. <laughs> Time to go. Sugar them up yeah. and get them out. <laughs> like Beyonce say, to, to the, the left, left, to the left. left. <laughs> we don't need you no more. You too full of candy. To the left, to the left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do the show, girl. <laughs> okay, let me put up this file. Let me add it. All right. So you see what that says? No means ex grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so guys, this is the continuation. This is part two. If you have not seen part one, head on over to Advertising Junction and watch that. Okay. So here's the continuation. So we're going to pick up where Geo left off. So number nine. Whatever should I wear? Oh, this information came from Baby Gaga, Baby Goo 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 Gaga. <laughs> oh goodness! I gotta behave. You, you bring out the worst in me. I want you to know that, Gio. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. So number nine. Whatever should I wear? Candy and other junk foods are only a few of the things grandparents buy their grandkids too much of. Clothes, they may seem to be more practical than candy and junk food, but can also get out of hand very quickly. You know everything a grandma or a grandpa sees, especially the girl stuff, it is difficult to not get carried away. And the kids' moms complain when grandma buys so much clothes for them. Hmm. That hopefully, hopefully, Grandma has good taste because the mom does not have any choice. <laughs> I, I know, cause my sister. Anytime we go to Walmart or any store that's got kid clothes, she buy her grandkids two some two of each. I said, "Well, you just bought them something last week." Oh, but these are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do it because your grandma. That's right. Yep. Okay. Number eight, baking disasters, right? So spending time baking or cooking in, gra in grandma's kitchen may start out with the best of intentions. Who doesn't love homemade cookies or brownies, 
even boring dinners taste better when the grandkids help out in the kitchen. Right. Both the grandparents and the grandkids enjoy this quality time together, but who's going to clean up that mess? Grandpa. And grandpa. That's right. That's right. Because <laughs> it ain't going to be grandma. No, it's not. Because mm -mm, grandma was in there helping cooking. Okay. Uh -huh. she. She has done her time with the grandkids. That's enough. Right? <laughs> right? Okay. Number seven. Do we have to go to the grand the grocery store? Hmm. Even trips to the grocery store, either planned or impromptu, can get quickly out of control when the grandkids do not enjoy these excursions. Grandparents want to concentrate on the task at hand while grandkids are bored to tears. Right. Grandparents have a hard time gaining control if they remove grandkids from a boring situation. So they help by promising bribery, gifts, right. rewards, even if it's bad behavior. Right. That's what I used to do, but after a while, my money started getting low, and I used to sit and sit them all in. I had four of them. I sit them all in that back seat, and I looked crazy, eyes crossed, and looked <laughs> up to here and see if anybody. And I'm talking about you four. Act <laughs> crazy and ask me for anything in that grocery store. I'm gonna whoop y'all butt. Okay, in the grocery mm. store. But Grin, that don't sound. I said, I don't care how it sounds. Don't you talk back to me. <laughs> Ooh, Grandma got. Mm, grandma, grandma got strict. Yeah, I got strict because the money got low. <laughs> <laughs> but they acted really good because they already know that a grand will go through with it. Mm. They know. Yep, they, they know, know who to try. They know who to try. Right. Okay. But most grandparents, you know, they'll just buy them whatever. If I had the money, I'd just buy it for them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Number six, help me with my homework. One of the things grandparents may be asked to do when they visit with their grandkids is to supervise homework. The problem is there are too many other activities that are more fun. Because of the exciting things, the homework usually goes to the bottom of the grandkids priority list. And sometimes that homework does not get done. That's true. It never <laughs> got done because I was like, okay, let's see what we gonna do today. Because I don't know how to do my homework. Can you help? And I read and I'm like, me neither. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> he said, let's make some cookies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's go outside and do some walking. And then the, my daughter come home and tell me, uh, did they do their homework? I said, girl, I didn't know they had homework. <laughs> oh, bad grandma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bad grandma. <laughs> but they would tell. They would tell. I know. I know. They would. Number five, carry me, Grandpa. Mm, mm, mm. Why is it that grandkids want their grandparents to carry them everywhere? Even when the kids are old enough to walk very well on their own, they often request a piggyback ride or a lift from Grandma and Grandpa. Grandparents will do almost anything for their grandkids, including carrying them around on their aching back. That's true, because I've seen it all in the grocery store, and I'm like, you need to put that baby down. That baby can walk, but honey, I ain't carrying any of mine, uh-uh. They didn't want to be carried. They was too bad trying to run around, trying to find what they wanted. Uh -huh. <laughs> as soon as I got to the grocery store, imagine, we were like, we scattered like, whatever right. you want to call it. We just took off and just running in the store, just grabbing everything, candy, bubble gum, right. cereal. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. But you really can't let your kids do that these days. No, not these days. You have to be more safe. Right, right. Yeah. But back in the day. Right, mm -hmm. back in the day. That's why I said kids don't understand how much fun we had back in the day. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Number four. 
Playtime can be exhausting. <sighs> oh, so watching the grandkids can be exhausting for the grandparents, especially for long periods of time. Now that is not fun. It takes right. lots of energy to keep up with these kids. And for some, it's hard for them to understand why these grandparents don't have the same energy level that the, the grandkids have. No. So trying to get the grandkids to take a nap is difficult as to as the kids want to pack in as much fun as they can before it's time for them to go home. That's true. Kids are very smart. They know that we can do this, 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 this at grandma's house. And we, we better do it because when they get ready to take us home, it's no more fun. <laughs> no, the fun is over. <laughs> no more party time. Right. Oh, boy. Here is the one. N number three, wild bath time. Oh, uh, that time water. is another like baking activity that can start off harmless enough, but can quickly esca escalate into an out of control mess. And when grandparents are requested to bathe their grandkids, it may mm -hmm. seem like an easy request. After all, most kids and water go hand in hand. Bath time is fun, right? Mm, until there's gadgets, toys everywhere really hmm. the bathroom floor will have to get washed at the same time as the right kids. right <laughs> <laughs> that's why i never did it. i told my daughter that was her job <laughs> mm -mm. yeah it could get quite messy mm -mm. anything that was too difficult my mom did not do for her grandkids she was like you better wait till you get home with your mama. Mm -hmm. Amen. Better wait till you get home, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was smart. <laughs> be like homework. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> wait till you get home. Wait till baby. you get home with your mama, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay. Number two. Here we go. Too much tech time. Oh, yeah. There are many reasons why grandparents let their grandkids spend lots of time with technological devices instead of other forms of entertainment. The first one is most grandparents are not tech savvy as their grandkids are. So grandkids make great teachers and they teach their grand their grandparents lots of technology to make them feel updated and sometimes they use it to their advantage so that they can play those tech games all right. day. Mm -hmm. All day long. Mm -mm -mm. At grandma's house. Right. Mm. And I just let them so that I could get some peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first thing, see, this is, this. I'm aging myself, but the first thing you go in grandma's house, she would sit you down, get y'all sugared up, candy, pie, cookies, whatever and put in that videotape and you've been to watch one of your favorite movies. <laughs> hey, had to do something. Because grandma was not going to, mm -mm, she was not about taking care of you. Grandma probably was heading for her nap. She said, <laughs> I got 90 minutes. <laughs> for real. All right, guys, this is the last one. Number one. What happens at grandma's house stays at grandma's house. So true. Okay. So grandparents may be known for letting their grandkids do things they would never let their own children do when they were young. Things like jumping on the bed, right. the furniture, eating in the living room or anywhere else other than the table or playing ball in the house. Not only do the grandparents let these grandkids get away with stuff, they encourage them and laugh at them when they do it, giving them a whole new set of rules. That's true. You can, do this. you can do it. That's why they love to go to grandma's house so they can do whatever they want to do. Because no means ask grandma or I mm. can do it at grandma's house. Mm. Yep. Put on, put on your... Um, Put a pool in the middle of the living room floor and play slip and slide. Right. 
Mm -hmm. Try to bring that home and see what happens to you. Baby, please. <laughs> what you get? <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Wrong with you? <laughs> Have you no. lost your mind? <laughs> we are not putting a pool in this house. <laughs> So where did you get the idea from? And you better not tell on grandma. You may do whatever you want at grandma's house, but this is my house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that that's how it goes, guys. So that has been all of the files. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one about 15 ways grandparents spoil the grandkids. And if you have not seen part one, head on over to Advertising Junction and watch that. I will have that linked in the comment section below. So, Gio, let's get out of here. Hit that music, your friend. <laughs> Just bounce with me. Just bounce with me. Just bounce with me. Just bounce with me. Hey, 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 hey. You sound like oil.